you want to make a fresh classic era WoW character, but you're unsure if you should take the plunge? How are the servers doing right now? What's the leveling experience like? Will it ruin my marriage? This video will give you the answers you seek, stranger. The servers are great, the community is better than it's ever been, and as for being married, well, come on now, we're both WoW players here, let's not kid ourselves. The truth is the game is more alive now than ever before, and the nostalgia of repeatedly dying to dust oh, devils, shit. Freemason criminals, and Somali pirate warlocks feels just as great as it always did. My name is Volgrin, welcome back to my fresh vanilla journey. Let's do this. We pick it up in Westfall, a region inspired by the aesthetics of the American Midwest and the crime rate of South London, where no man is safe, and if you want to survive, you better make some friends, which is exactly what I did. Let me introduce you to Exodus. Exodus is a warrior who likes three things, silence, demolishing harvest watchers, and remaining at all times within the highlighted area. I mean seriously, this guy is a fucking machine who single-handedly cut his way through every scarecrow in, well this one field actually, because for some odd reason he seemed completely unwilling to leave it. Like, by the time I killed 6 of the 20 watchers needed for this quest, he'd already handed his quest in, then went back to killing all the mobs I needed, and continued to exterminate scarecrows long after I had pieced out. Exodus, you're a legend. I didn't add you as a friend because you literally spoke two letters to me the entire time we interacted, but if I need you, well, I definitely know where I can find you. As you can probably tell, my high skill level and natural charm meant that progressing through the zone was a smooth process. The only problem was that as I started to replace my Elwyn forest gear with some decent green items, I noticed a bit of a problem starting to develop. You see, I wanted to look like a really cool badass rogue, like Conrad Kurz or the Crow, but instead... Gypsy trousers of power. What am I going to get rid of here? Light feather? Be gone. Gypsy trousers of power. Please look good. Oh no. We've turned into Peter Pan. Oh god no, we look like Robin. Oh no. But who cares, right? This is vanilla. You learn to embrace the clown suit lifestyle. And by this point, I was having a great time, which got even better when I ran into an old friend from our first episode. Look who it is! It's our friend! Yo! You're the dude from the chest house! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Salute, my friend. Ah, uh, no, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. I'll add you to friends. This is too inco this is too convenient. Oh yes, man. Add character friend. And we went on our ways. That is awesome. That's what it's about, man. It's chance meetings like this with people you bumped into five or ten levels ago, or in a dungeon you ran last week that make Vanilla WoW such an amazing, unique game to play. You can probably tell that I had a massive grin on my face during this encounter and it was honestly a great moment that I was so glad that I managed to get on video to share with you guys. But it's not just old acquaintances that you make whilst levelling in Classic WoW. Whilst I was out massacring criminals like fucking Judge Dredd, I bumped into one of the chillest dudes I've met so far on my adventure. Let me present my boy, Sancti. Teamed up yet again with uh, my man, Sancti. Aptly named as he is... A paladin. He's also evidently blind because he's running that way and I've just clearly pointed out that there is a camp this way. May I enchant braces? Hell yeah, you can check. I mean, that's blasphemous for a paladin, I guess, but I mean, can you enchant that? My man. God, everyone's here now. <laughs> this place is absolutely packed. Vanilla popping off. Chest. Have a look. <laughs> One, two, seven, have a look at him. Oh, shit. A straight up gold bar in a chest. Actual treasure. An actual fucking treasure chest. And he, he, uh, he let me have it. Because, you know, I mean, he is a paladin. There we go. Boom. The fat leggings, or has he got better? 
I think we found another one for the friends list, boys. Oh shit, he says he's got something for me. What you got for me? What you got for me? You know, he's duck ducking and diving, isn't he? Let's see where he goes. Yeah, this is really starting to feel like the longest escort quest I've ever done. Let's go to the mail. What are you getting in the mail, man? What did you get in the guild? What is he going to give me? Oh, my man. The game saver. The absolute fucking clutch player. Get out of here, linen cloth. Oh, yeah. He just gave me his absolutely massive sack. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Add Sancti. Another member of our crew. Good times. Really, really starting to enjoy this now. Making loads of friends. The adventures in Westfall were amazing, but it was only a matter of time before I started to bottleneck a bit, with there being fewer available quests that were at my level, and more of them started to involve sending me to other zones. Which, on the surface, sounds cool, right? Because it adds variety, you get to go to different places. But the problem with this was that all of these quests had me delivering letters all over the place, and after a while I started to feel like less of an adventuring badass rogue, and more like, well... Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and but on the other hand, maybe I would have been better off staying as a postman, because when I went to complete my next rogue class quest, we ran into a bit of a problem, and I'm not just talking about my inability to pick the right fucking lockbox. Okay, so here's the deal. I spent the last 15 minutes dying and trying these lockboxes out. I mean, look, this is literally my skeleton. I've been picking these lockboxes all this time, thinking that the certificate was going to appear in one of them once I got a certain amount of skill. Turns out that if you read the quest carefully, it says that it's in his lockbox, Lucius's lockbox. What is this here? This is Lucius's lockbox. I'm an idiot. No, we had a problem of a very different kind. I found myself under attack, targeted, marked for death, from the deadliest warlock ever to sail the Gulf of Aden. Now what this nutcase was doing prowling around a farm in Red Ridge Mountains like a home invader high on PCP, I have no idea, but once I finally realised that I'd been picking the wrong fucking locks for half an hour, I got the item I needed and I got the hell out of there. But let me assure you, I know I fucked up with the lock boxes in this video, but my girlfriend will attest, this is the only time I have ever had a problem finding the right keyhole. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. What, what do you mean? In the end, instead of taking constant business flights between Red Ridge, Stormwind and Westfall, I decided to ride the Deep Run tram to Ironforge and head up to Loch Medan to quest there. Ah, oh, it felt so good to go back to a zone that was familiar to me, inspired by the amazing, unique culture and heritage of Scotland. Now, we've been everywhere in this episode, guys, and I can really feel the adventure starting to take off as we explore more and more of Azeroth. But in the end, I plan to head back to Westfall pretty soon. There's unfinished work left to be done there. I'm not done with the Defiance just yet. And for our next episode, I think we all know where we're headed to. Well, there we have it, guys. You made it to the end of another episode. We're really starting to pick up the pace now, right? One minute I was dying to kobolds in Elwyn Forest, and the next I'm in Westfall, dying to the Defias. I'm sure there'll be less dying in the next episode, all right? Anyway, I just want to take a moment to thank you all so much for the amazing support the first video received. I hope you enjoyed this one just as much, and that you'll stick along with me for the ride. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more of this madness. We have a long journey ahead of us, and we're only just getting started. But for now, my friends, be well, and I shall see you in the next episode. Buh bye bye